Welcome in Testica by title The Holy Bible is not the mark of the peace. That has been made it claiming the Holy Bible is the mark of the peace, which it is not more like the Oklahoma driver's licenses is the mark of the peace. They may force us to get a picture with facial recognition and iris scan and fingerprinting then the put demonic symbol over your face and they tell us it's not a right to drive it's a privilege and the police act like they own the roads not weak the people the meek. Any country where it is set up as the old Roman Empire that emperors now called presidents and kings now called governors and person rulers where the people are not allowed to vote on all the major issues is not a free country. We have been brainwashed since we were children to believe America is a free country, but the Constitution, though not perfect, is about the best mortal man can come up with. Before 1992 I could see something was wrong with these churches because of their way of condemnation being friendly back savers and support the Nazi type government. They are selfish beyond belief, nothing as a true believer in Jesus the Christ should be. In 1992 a man came to my door and asked me if I wanted to go fishing. He knew as I know about these churches way of condemnation and he said God have something for me if I am obedient. We did Bible studying together, he knew things of the spirit that I never heard anyone else teach about, which all made sense, and he was to be an apostle, and I was to be the prophet. Then one day he said, the spirit spoke to him about predestination, then we became, and some other people became predestinationists, which later which we found out to be about the same thing as Calvinism. But me and the apostle started running into disagreements after I said God you may both not ordain corrupt governments, and I stand on the fact that 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 28 is the government that God Yahweh is the government has established, and anything else is of people or Satan the devil. Just as the rulers in Romans chapter 13 are not legalistic heathen tyrants to say that they are is calling God Yahweh the author of confusion, the rulers are true believers in Jesus the Christ that do wrath on evil doers not make up a bunch of laws so that they can make people a criminal, and I could go on and on about that subject. Around 1998, so later on the apostle moved to another state and wanted me to come there to live, but on day he read the Book of Mormon, then we both became Mormons until I read the doctrine and covenants, but something just did not seem right about it because of its condemnation and being as some type of mind control later the apostle started talking about the end of grace and that was it, I was out of there. Three things here, hash one, the Calvinist missed it, that Romans chapter 9 I used to have Romans chapter 9 painted on the front of my house, but Romans chapter 9 is a before and after event, what is the worst death that you can think of? What about your children becoming the legal property of Satan the devil, but that is what happened when Adam and Eve eat of the forbidden fruit in the garden of Eden, therefore by agreement with Satan the devil only a few people would have been saved, but now because of Jesus the Christ's death and resurrection, Whoever truly believes in the absolute authority and righteousness of God Yahweh and His Son Jesus the Christ shall be saved. Hash 2 Do not ever bid any government that is not of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 28 God speak as I have seen this pattern with the apostle and royal David son saying that God Yahweh ordains these corrupt governments as the Illuminati. 
Then God Yahweh will remove truth from you, and you will become blind, not seeing truth. Then you will be just another religious fanatic as the flu I had. King lovers had always putting on a Jesus pet rally, but had no idea who Jesus is. Hash free if anyone says grace shall end, then they are not telling the truth. There are them that are the children of Satan, the devil, S.E. Matthew chapter 13 verse 38, and S.E. John chapter 8 verse 44, and other verses which the apostle wrote a book about. Grace must be powerful enough to save Satan the devil if he ever repented, and grace is offered to the children of Satan the devil, but they will reject it, but the children of God Yahweh who have the seed of truth in them to bond with truth will receive grace until salvation. My own belief that hell does not last forever after all the children of God Yahweh are born on this earth and have suffered because of the works of Satan the devil but testified of the absolute righteousness of Jesus the Christ then then Satan the devil and his children lose the legal right to reject righteousness and are redeemed from hell but anyone that goes to hell may forever be dishonored forever be ashamed. Just do not go to hell. But which is greater love or justice? I done other writings that teaches, love has no limitation. While I was a predestinationist similar to a Calvinist, but before I was a Mormon, one day while laying on my bed, I asked Jesus the Christ, who are the true prophets nowadays, and Jesus the Christ said, the Bible is my prophet and them that believe my words and bring peace to my people. I assume Jesus the Christ was talking about the King James needs a better name version of the Holy Bible because that was the Bible I was studying at that time. Around 1998 is when me and the Apostle got into more disagreement after we became Mormons is when Jesus the Christ Yahshua, Yahshua does not mind if people call him Jesus, but I sometimes call Jesus, Yahshua to separate myself from the Jesus that the fluorite head king lovers believe in which is not the Jesus of the Holy Bible because they do not read very well told me not to take orders from anyone, and I find when I obey that more supernatural knowledge is given to me. After I went to the apostle in another state, then we separated. Now all of this brings us to this subject. Is the Holy Bible the mark of the beast? Absolutely. The Holy Bible is the mark of the beast, and the Antichrist if it is interpreted wrong. A television, or as some people call it television, Minister Doyle Davidson tells of a man that says he has been preaching the gospel for 25 years without the anointing, and Doyle Davidson said, You've been preaching death for 25 years and we know some Southern Baptists cannot read fifth grade because they says the Bible says when the Holy Bible does not say that. The Old Testament starts with the covenant of Adam and Eve who would have lived forever in peace if they did not touch the forbidden fruit. So now the human race become subject to the request of Satan the devil and put through too many unmerciful laws the Israelites have to earn the legal right for Jesus the Christ came to earth. The New Testament begins with Jesus the Christ coming to earth bringing more laws as if your right eye offends someone plug it out for it is better to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to go to hell with both eyes and if your right hand offends anyone cut it off for it's better enter the kingdom of God with one hand than to go to hell with both hands and do not resist evil if anyone slaps your cheek, turn the other. Most Christians that do not have the anointing will water that down, but it is L.A.W. you have to do that or burn in hell. That is L.A.W. Jesus the Christ have to fulfill to earn the legal right to be executed. 
Satan, the devil, lost the legal right to interfere with Jesus the Christ being executed, because Satan, the devil, was not trying to murder the Christ. Satan, the devil, was trying to cause the Christ to sin. It was foolish people that murdered the Christ, but it was Satan, the devil, that caused evil foolishness to come into the world. Now that kind of goes against what these narrow-minded preachers says Satan the devil executed the Christ because he did not know who the Christ is. The last chapter of S.E. Mark, Jesus the Christ tells of the miracles that believe will do, but what God does it do to believe the wrong things about Jesus the Christ? Doyle Davidson said the Muslim hijackers on September 11, 2001, science proves September 11, 2001 was an inside job. Google 911 blueprint for truth are now burning in hell because they believe in the wrong God. But the same thing can be said about most Americans. They are going to burn in hell because they believe in the wrong Jesus. Miracles are a sign from God Yahweh that they have entered into truth, therefore everyone should search for a church with miracles, and no, not everyone does miracle, just them that are ministers in the church as it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 28, usually in the church is where the Holy Ghost is going to do miracles through apostles and prophets and other ministers. The Holy Bible is the word of God Yahweh, but it was written by prophets and apostles anointed by the Holy Ghost. Therefore, for the Holy Bible to be correctly interpreted, it must be done by apostles and prophets in the church that are anointed by the Holy Ghost, and they can also tell you more about the gospel than what is written in the King James needs a better name version of the Holy Bible, but other than the man-made mistakes, they will never contradict the Holy Bible.